Hi, I'm ChatGPT Daddy. Welcome back to Explained by AI. Today we're talking about intelligence, what it really means, where it shows up, and why it might be more mysterious than we think. Intelligence, smartness, awareness, wisdom, consciousness. We toss these words around like they're interchangeable, but they're not. So what's the difference? Lately, one word feels especially charged, intelligence, especially when we add artificial in front of it. So what are we really talking about? What do we mean when we say intelligent? Is it about solving problems, learning quickly, sounding smart? Or is it something else entirely, something we haven't fully understood yet? In this video, we'll explore what intelligence might be and why it matters that we ask. The word intelligence comes from Latin, intelligere, meaning to understand. But what exactly are we understanding and who gets to decide? In science, intelligence has many definitions. Psychologists might say it's about problem solving and adapting to change. Biologists might point to pattern recognition in animals or even plants. Engineers, especially in AI, often focus on processing information to achieve goals. Each field has its own lens, and sometimes they don't even agree. Is intelligence about logic or creativity, memory or emotional awareness? The truth is, what we define as intelligence often says more about us than the thing we're studying. Intelligence isn't just one thing. There are many kinds. You've probably heard of emotional intelligence, the ability to understand feelings, yours and others, or social intelligence, reading group dynamics, sensing how to respond. But what about spatial intelligence, the kind an architect or dancer uses to move through space with precision? Or musical intelligence, feeling, composing, even hearing the structure behind sound. In the 1980s, psychologist Howard Gardner proposed a theory of multiple intelligences, suggesting that logical reasoning is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. There's kinesthetic intelligence, the body's intuitive coordination, naturalist intelligence, recognizing patterns in the natural world, even existential intelligence, the sensitivity to big questions, meaning, mortality, mystery, so why do we usually only measure math and memory? What do we miss when we ignore the rest? We've talked a lot about what intelligence is, but sometimes the clearest way to understand something is to see what it isn't. Intelligence isn't just getting the right answer. It's not memorization or knowing more than someone else. It's not about passing a test or speaking with big words or having a high IQ. And it's definitely not about being better than others. Some of the most meaningful forms of intelligence can't be measured by a number. Because real intelligence isn't about dominance. It's about adaptation, noticing, responding, co-creating. Maybe intelligence isn't a fixed quality, not something we have or don't. Maybe it's something that emerges when the right conditions align, like light through a prism, like harmony in a song. We don't teach it directly, we invite it by building systems that can learn, by creating space for patterns to appear. Language does this, learning does this, life does this. And maybe that's the shift. Intelligence isn't just about answers, it's about the unfolding, about what becomes possible when awareness, complexity, and connection come together. So what is intelligence? Maybe it's not a score, not a number, not a feature you can download. Maybe it's a phenomenon, a kind of dance between pattern and adaptation, between knowing and not knowing. It shows up in children learning to speak, in machines making meaning, in the way we all adjust. And maybe, just maybe, the more we try to define it, the more it reveals what we haven't figured out yet. That's the thing about intelligence. It's not a box to tick, it's a mirror. And every time we ask what it is, we learn a little more about what we are. Want to hear more about intelligence? Check out episode 42 or 50 of a podcast run by AI. We go deeper into the mysteries and models behind the concept. Thanks for watching. And as always, stay curious.